Hello, everyone. I hope you have finished your writing during the Easter holiday. So for today, I'm going to introduce a new self-assessment tool to you guys, which is called the Spider Web. You are going to use this tool to assess your own performance in the writing. If, as you can see, there are six different aspects in the writing. The first one will be the story development. The second one will be the use of adjectives to tell the feelings of the characters. The third one will be the use of past tense. The fourth one will be the use of object pronouns. The fifth one will be the use of connectives to connect ideas. And the last one will be the use of dialogues. So I'm going to introduce all these six aspects to you guys. So first of all, let's take a look at the story development. As we have mentioned in class, there should be at least five paths in your story. Ask yourself a few questions before you give yourself scores. Do you introduce the setting, that means the time and the place, in the beginning of the story? Do you also introduce the characters? After that, do you tell what happened in the story? Is there a problem in the story, and the problem needs to be solved as well? And the last part, do you give a good ending to the story? Can you find a moral lesson in it? So if you think yourself are doing really well, don't hesitate. Just give yourself a five. If you feel like you are like mm, not really well, but I try my best. I did some of them. You can try to give yourself a two or a three. It depends on how you feel about your own writing. So after you have given yourself a mat, you can just mark a cross on it. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use the red pen to mark the score. And for the second part, that will be the use of adjectives. Again, ask yourself a few questions. Did you listen to Miss Chan and use at least six to eight adjectives? Or 10 to 12, I don't remember, okay? Adjective to describe the feelings of the characters. Are you using all the same adjective or are you using different adjective? So that means you're not just saying happy and happy all over, okay? You're trying to use different adjective to describe the characters. Again, did you show a clear picture of how the adjective, how the characters feel in the story? So again, if you feel like you're doing really well, you can give yourself a five or you think you're doing good, uh, but you can still do better, then you can give yourself a four, okay? So this time I'm using an orange to mark the cross here. So for the next one, that will be the use of past tense. So for this one, it will be nice if you can ask yourself, do you use the correct form in the story? Do you speak? spell all the words correctly so you can distinguish whether you are using this as a irregular pass form or like regular pass form and whether the spellings are correct so this time i'm using a five i'm giving myself a five using a blue pen okay so for the next one that will be the use of object pronouns so again ask yourself a few questions are you using the object pronouns correctly? Are you using them in the right place? Is it clear if you're using these object pronouns? Is it clear for your readers to know who you are talking about? This is very important. It doesn't mean you always have to use object pronoun, but you should use it in the right place. If you think your story is very clear, you using the object pronouns correctly you can of course give yourself a higher score okay i'm just randomly choosing a number so i'll just mark a two right here again i'm using different color this time I'm using a yellow okay so for the next one that will be the use of connective to connect ideas so for this one ask yourself are you using the correct connective to connect ideas can you create your story, make it very organized, having a very clear organization in the story? And can you use the connective to create a tension in the story that keep your readers interested to keep on reading? 
So if you think you're doing really well, again, choose a different color and mark your score. And for the last one, there will be the use of dialogues. For the last part right here, ask yourself a few questions. Did you use any dialogues in the story? And are you using them in a meaningful way? That means you're not just using them as an okay, fine, but the sentence, the dialogue itself, is it meaningful? Does it convey some message? So again, give yourself a score and don't forget to choose a different color as well. So maybe like... So after you have given yourself different score, the last thing you have to do is to just draw the line between the crosses, okay? So you can make a very nice spider web here. Of course, it would be nice if you use a ruler, but I'm just being lazy and didn't do it here, okay? So you just draw a line between the crosses, and you will have a very nice picture like this, okay? So this is what you can see in a spider web. From this spider web right here, you can see which point, which aspect are you doing really well, maybe your strength, and which one is the weakest part that you need to improve. So for me, it is very obvious. I'm doing really well on using the past hand, I can use the past hand correctly. I know how to spell the words. But for me, maybe the weakest point would be the use of object pronoun. I only get a two right here. So this part would be something that I need to improve. So it might be a good idea if I just revisit and amend my own writing to make it better. Okay, so this is just a very brief introduction of the spider web. Of course, I know you have more questions, so I'm going to answer some of your questions in class. And if you have any question that you want me to answer right now, don't, I mean, just leave a comment and let me know, okay? So looking forward to see you guys on Monday, and we'll use this paper, okay? See you!